On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Are you ready, kids? <laughs> the following movie is rated I. What is up? So as you know, the last trip out, I had a little leak in one of my pontoons, and my trim pump gave out. First thing is patch that pontoon. That's the hole. It's a pretty good gash. That's an easy fix there. And then, I don't know what's underneath that. I don't know what the heck they were doing there, but I'm definitely going to scrape or grind that off and see what happened there, because it looks like they might have had a piece there that popped off. Unbelievable. Who would think that would hold? That's Bondo. People are cray cray. That's a pretty good size hole. I wonder what they hit. Huh. Don't know. Let's see what's behind this one. There's got to be something under here. Why else did they put this? Well, I clean this whole area up and there's no hole. So I don't know. I don't think there was anything there. When worlds collide. Alright, so I got it cleaned up, sanded, I took a punch, rolled the edges in as much as I could. Because when I put the JB weld, I'm going to pack it up in there pretty good so it's got a plug that won't fall out. And then smooth over the top. So hopefully, hopefully, that'll be good. Then I could just sand it off later. What I do is I I cut an acid brush, leave about a quarter inch of bristle so it's real stiff. Mix two parts, mix them all together. I found this is like the best applicator. Let's get it on there. So that's it. I used all of that. Jammed it all up in there. I know, that's what she said. It's just dripping. That's what she I should wipe that off though. Less sanding. I got a lot up in there. That's what she said. So now I guess we just sit and wait for it to dry i also leave the material like that so i know when it's hard you know you could tell that's what she said and then once you try to pull that little brush off of there you can tell if it's hard enough or not that's what she said she's pretty hard now boys no pun intended still not totally hard it takes 24 hours let's see how the patch looks So I pulled the pins and I got the pump out and that's whoever's GB weld job that did a pretty poor job. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh boy. Boy that's pitted. <laughs> I don't know if Gary's going to be able to do anything with this or not. He said yes he'd look at it. Let me clean it up a little bit more. So I literally don't know what the heck is going on here. Looks like someone attempted to weld that in there. I assume that was like a pressure valve. You know where you get the spring and the ball. Somebody tried welding in it. And it doesn't look very good. I hope Gary could do something with that. I'll probably have to pull that out too. Okay. I just took that whatever the heck that was like a nut that they stuck in there apparently there's something missing like did it have a cap or something in there that's bizarre so it looks to me like they drove that in there and tried to weld it so there must have been a plug there because I don't know what the heck that is there no idea well, see when someone else has their hands and stuff you never know what you're gonna find I bet it had a plug like that that threaded into there and then it corroded and leaked. I guess if I weld it and cap it off, it doesn't matter because I'll never adjust it, but I bet you it was like that. So I'll drain what remaining oil is in there, spray some carb cleaner on it, bring it over to Gary's and let him do his magic work. So that did nothing. We're going to cover it. the whole thing.
Hope it still works. Let's get a video of this fine job he did. I suppose if I do have to get in there, I could drill a hole right there, I guess. Put a pipe plug in there or something. Man, I'm having a heck of a time getting this thing bled out. I got an air pocket on the up and down in the motor. I'm hoping this will draw the air out. Now well, I'll give you an update. When we covered this and it had another hole up here, I believe that was in a reservoir. Either way, that chamber and that chamber I figured should be separated, so I did drill it, tap it, put some thread lock or thread sealing on it, and put that in there. Because I can't get the pump to work. When I took this nut out, apparently that little rubber piece was inside and a spring. Now I didn't find the spring, but it did fall in my little work bucket here. But that rubber valve fell in my bucket. So I don't know if they just had that nut pushing against it without a spring. I looked all over, I can't find a spring. So I think if I drill this out, tap it with like a plug tap, I could put this, it's almost like a, it's a rubber check valve with a little spring behind this. If I can get it the same size and tension as what's in this side, I imagine it'll work. And I think little, little tiny, tiny pinhole of oil was leaking there, but I mean, if I can get it to work, then I'll run it back over to Gary's. But in the meantime, they want $400 if you send this out for them to rebuild it. Well, this isn't rebuildable. <laughs> they want eight to $900 for a used whole unit. But I did find a good case without the motor, the pumps out of it, and uh, this hydraulic cylinder is out. So 150 bucks, I bought that just in case. But if I can get this working good, I can at least use some of this for parts. Because this is pretty corroded from the salt water. Salt water sucks. Yep, pontoon boat's gonna have to go on the back burner, boys. Back down to Florida. That's right. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.